Hi everybody, my dear friends, <laughs> welcome to the channel once again. Yes, we are at your favorite place. So yes, so today I'm gonna slide on a bait. I'm gonna slide on my braid, so I'm gonna show you how I'm doing it. But uh, this is my trace here. I've got some 0 0.8 liter with a non-return clip. Look at that. That's my trace, 0 0.8 mono here. 
and I've got a swivel just on it here, and that's over a meter long. And I'm explaining to you now why I got it over a meter long. That's about a two meter length. Right, that's about two meters length of your my 0 0.8. I've got a swivel here, and I've got my 80 pound nylon coated steel wire here. I've got that there on my nice swivel. I've got a teaser trace here. Look at this. Got a little duster with a weight on it. So I've got a eagle claw, channel you know, hook here, circle hook, and I've just got a J hook here just in the back here. All right, as a trap, I've got some foam here just to help keep some buoyancy on it. And this is a Japanese macro. So that's what I'm going to slide out now, guys. So this is my bait. That's how I made it. So I want this to stay afloat and a little bit away from my main line. So there is a little bit of current, but there's a southwesterly wind that's blowing. So it's going to keep my bait away from my main line. So that's the preferred scenario that I would like when there's a bit of wind and a bit of current so that it keeps the bait from staying onto my main line and obviously tangling it up. So once that tangles up with your main line, you're going to have all sorts of issues and also burning off. Alright, so it can even happen if you're uh, fishing with your mono as well. So yes, the non-return clip, it's quite a long trace. Some guys would obviously say that I'm, I'm actually using this as a drone trace, but I've actually casted my 8 ounce now. It's on the left hand side. Let me take you down there and I'm going to show you how I'm going to slide on my braid. So stay tuned with me folks. Okay, let's get that through nice and easy that's through safety in there we go all right guys so the tip of this here how do i slide on my brain you take your time you don't rush this issue so guys take your time sliding out this brain don't really bump the rod too hard and too much of movement on it otherwise you're going to get your clip it's going to collapse over and it's going to stick around halfway on your, on your line and then if you get a pickup you're going to get burnt off so spend a lot of time, it's not going to go that fast that it's normally going to hold on. So try to do the gradual bumps by jerking your rod forward and back, but take your time. This is going to take about 15 minutes or so, but we're going to get the bait as close to our sinker as we can. Alright, have a look at that. See my chin is quite high, and the reason for that that with the southwest wind and the current, the currents are out there and the flotation, the foam that I put on top of it is going to keep my bait away from my main line. And that's exactly what I wanted. I've been doing this bait up for quite a few times. It has been working. It hasn't been getting entangled. So I've had already a few pickups with it. So I'm not trying to get uh, whatever is feeding on the bottom. I'm trying to get whatever is feeding on the top. All right, let's get you and let's get this bait on. Get it out. already out on the strike zone now but that's just about 60 meters out here I still got more than 100 meters more to go so I'm gonna take my time look at the forward and back ocean there's not much movement on my rod but very gradually I'm gonna take this bait all the way to where my sinker is so 
I remember if you are getting some big waves that are coming forward, just stop the jerking motion. Just hold it a little bit firm, keep the bait away from your main line. Let the wave go forward. Once it has passed your bait, then you can progress with obviously your forward and back jerking forward to try and get the bait forward and forward to your sinker. I hope this is helping you out folks. So if you are liking it, please hit the like button. Don't forget guys, like, share and subscribe. Share the fun with all your friends and family. So this is going to take a little bit of time here. So as you can see, very gradual bumps. Don't rush this. Enjoy your fishing trip. So don't try and rush that bait. Take your time. Who knows, while you're getting your bait out there in between here and there, you're going to get that pickup. But you're going to have the rod out there. So make sure that's open and you're ready for it. How are you feeling this, Boo? Hi, Mike. Hi, Mike. Great stuff. Let's have a look. And he decided to give up. <laughs> well done, Smoo. What did Garrick don't come and try to hammer, eh? No. <laughs> oh, he's been right in the front, look at that.
Watch out. Nicely placed move. Looks like you hooked him right on the lip. It's a nice size one. Take him right in there, we could take the hooks out, right? Don't Right, chop. Well done, Smoke. Good fight. Thanks. Yeah, he's released safely. That's fine. As long as he's back in the water. What you gonna say to everybody? Yeah, I wonder if I've been expecting anything. But as soon as he did me, I thought about the carry because I was kind of right on top of the boat. <laughs> <laughs> Good play this move, well done. Alright, so there you have Spoode, nice fight there with a the hammerhead shark, trying to get it, so no cable or anything to use. Uh, yes, so he's putting him off right here as we got it, but it's fine. So we expect those hammerheads to be released and all our non-heads, we released him out safely. Unfortunately, he's probably got one hook still there on his lip and that's why he fought all the way down here to the, to the front line. If not, that would have put him off a long time ago. So yes guys, we're fishing for Garrick, we're not using uh, cable or any bite trace on it. And uh, yes, if you are fishing with cables and stuff, make sure we got to finish up that job and try and remove those hooks as carefully as we can and let those uh, non needs to get uh, released. So guys, stay tuned with us, uh, more action to come. I've already tried out the other bait again, uh, the extra long leader and cable that's out there in the front. So let's hope we get a pick up. I've still out another Japanese mackerel, an old mackerel that far out there on the right hand side corner of Margate Pier and he's still trying to get me a live bait uh, yes uh, we want to try and get a quarantine so we can't get a quarantine as yet uh, let's hope we can get one and I can put a live bait on so we are expecting some heavy extreme winds to come through around 38 km wind 40 km winds to come through just now from about 8ish um, it's only about 6ish now at the moment so let's hope we can get a Get some live bait so we can put out. Otherwise, yeah, have a look at this guys. Fun and games here at Margate Pier. So we've got two rods out on the right hand side. We've got Diri here that's joining us from Durban and a few other anglers that are around. But just check this out here. As you can see, yes, there's my rod that's out there on the right hand side. So I've set out the Jap Mac. It's quite far out. It's one of my best casts out there. I'm not going to tell you what the distance is, but yeah, I've got that as far out as possible. And uh, yeah, that's with that floating bait trace. So let's just see what's uh, feeding at the back line. There's Angie on that side. Still trying to get me a live bait. And you can already hear that wind starting to pick up. Find out those chases that I'll be making with the extra long 0.8 leader with the cable chase in the front. I spam on the whole jab back here, having a bite here, and I got picked up. So we got some heavy range here as well. But this is already taking me fast. Three rocks now, but it feels strong. <laughs> Absolutely strong. Not sure what this is as yet. But that's the beauty of fishing in the ocean. The possibilities are endless. Yo, what a fight. Ah. 
teammate there. There's Drew running there all the way on the beach there. So go over Lee Rock. So I'm not gonna give any slack here now. Any slack is gonna cut the line because that means. And obviously more tangle on the line for This is the bottom of the point. You're gonna see something jump in there. Okay, let's see. Out. Oh, it's good. Oh. Stand line after snipe. Okay. Okay. Tough luck. It was clever. I saw some splashes there. I'm not sure what that was. But a very clever fish. It took me over two reefs there. It took me quite far out. Okay, let's have a look at the damage. Yo, what a fight. <laughs> oh, no. my arms are trembling here, guys. That's one hell of a fight. So we saw some split. Hi, you guys. All right, so it's a comeback from yesterday. Uh, losing the fish, a big uh, boxing match that went <laughs> the other way yesterday. So yes, you don't always win yeah. we do lose now and then, but uh, we're curious to find out what went wrong yesterday. Unfortunate, at the weaker part of our place there, the 0 0.8, uh, yes, it actually broke off or not came loose on the swim bait clip, the swivel that was on it. So we're not sure what actually happened, but uh, there's no evidence of it, but just that the trace came back and obviously the 0 0.8 uh, obviously gave up on us. So we're not sure whether it's actually the knot or it actually whether with the amount of strain that I've been put in, uh, the knot would have gashed on the barnacles or the rocks and that would have resulted in uh, the trace being broken. So yes, stay with us today and uh, yeah, we'll get back to you and uh, let's obviously find out what is happening and then uh, we'll, uh, we'll take it from there. So we will have a look at, uh, as I'm progressing today, to have a look at uh, the traces. I've stopped at Lucky's Manaba, I've bought in some new line and uh, yeah, from the new line, I bought in some 0 0.9 liter and we've got some new trebles, new floats to improve on our chase, those long chases that I've been making, which is proven to be a total success here on the right hand side of Margate Pier. I'm gonna continue to try that until we land those big ones. So stay tuned with us guys. So let's get on to the chase. Let's have a look at what's been wrong and uh, yeah, stay tuned with us guys. All the best. <laughs> 